Here's an interesting inequality that is given to high school students who are incoming into a calculus class in university. Now, if you can actually prove this inequality correctly, it would put you in the top five percentile of your class. In order to prove it, let's consider all the possibilities. So if we have A and B, which are real numbers, they can take on zero, positive values or negative values, as you can see there in the table. First, let's consider A and B just simply greater or equal to zero. Now, in this case, if that's true, then the absolute values of A and B are just simply A and B themselves. This would prove four out of the nine possibilities that A and B can take on. And if we take the left-hand side and the right-hand side and do this actual substitution, then you'll see that the left-hand side just simply becomes exactly the same thing as the right-hand side. So they're equal to each other. Intuitively, what we just proved is nothing really extraordinary. If you do have indeed A and B greater or equal to zero, then as you can see here visually and numerically, they clearly are going to be equal to each other because both of them are just simply measuring the distance between A and B. Next, let's try to prove when A and B are actually less than or equal to zero. So they're both negative or zero. In this case, you can see that A can be rewritten as negative absolute value of A, and B can be rewritten as negative absolute value of B. And that would take care of another three possibilities from our table. So if you now take that and substitute it on the right-hand side of the equation, you will notice that the negatives on the right-hand side can be actually factored out. So you see that negative one in there. And the absolute value of negative one, well, that's just one. So once again, you have that the left-hand side and the right-hand side are equal to each other. Again, visually, if you take a look at this and we actually shift both A and B on the negative side, what do you notice? Well, you should notice that once again, what you're measuring is just the distance between A and B. And no matter how big or small on the negative side A and B can take on, both of them, the left-hand side and the right-hand side, are going to be equal to each other. You can see that visually and numerically in this example. This leaves us only two possibilities in the tables that both A and B can take on. So let's take a look at those last ones. So let's first consider when A is going to be less than zero and B is actually greater than zero. In this case, you can set A equal to negative absolute value of A, and then B, you can just rewrite as the absolute value of B. Now, if you take the inequality, and in particular, the right-hand side of the inequality, and substitute those two, then you'll see there that a negative once again is popping up for us. Now we are going to factor out that negative once again. And when we do that, then we're going to get a negative one in front. And well, the absolute value of negative one is gone, okay, because it's just one. And the difference will be always smaller than the summation. And visually, if you indeed have A negative and B positive, then the distance between A and B will always be bigger than just the difference between their magnitudes. This leaves us with the last case, which is when a is going to be greater than zero and b is less than zero. Now in this case, we can take advantage and simply say a is equal to the absolute value of a and b is just negative of the absolute value of b. Now if you substitute those two into the right hand side of the inequality, you will come up with simply the absolute value of a minus the negative of absolute value of b. And of course, the two negatives cancel and we get a positive. And visually and numerically, this is exactly the same thing as the previous example. So if b is negative and a is positive, indeed, the distance between a and b is going to be bigger than the actual difference between their magnitudes. And that completes the proof. Let me know if you would be able to solve and actually prove this inequality coming out of high school. Thanks for watching. See you in a future video.